Hi guys, I'm John and welcome to my channel. In today's spray paint art video, I'm going to be painting a reverse spray paint art on glass. And the paint I'll be using for this video is Montana Gold Spray Paint. And you can find the list of colours in the description box below. I'll also be using a paintbrush, a round lid stencil that I've cut out from a piece of card. I'll be using a sponge, some spare pieces of card and some weights. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out because I want to try something different in reverse. So I want to paint some trees first and then do a sunset behind them. So the only way we're going to find out if it's going to work or not is give it a go. So the first thing we'll do is get the cardboard cut out and we'll put it on the painting where the sun's going to go. And we'll get the weights and we'll just place them on. This is to stop any paint going underneath them. As you can see, I've already signed the glass because I wanted it to be dry before painting the painting. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the first layer of trees here at the bottom. So we'll get this spare piece of card and we'll spray some black on it. Then with a paintbrush, I'm just going to put some trunks in. So like I said, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to turn out or if it's going to work. But you won't know unless you try, so here goes. We'll have some small trees first. So we have a trunk's done. So we're going to get a bit of sponge and I'm just going to rip a bit off, make it easier to work with. So something like that. And all I'm going to do is just screw it up a bit. So you've got something like this. And we'll just dip it in. Take a bit of paint off it. And then we'll start at the top and work down. So like I said, I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out or if it's going to turn out. But I won't know until I turn it over later on. That's the first one on. So we'll just go across these, do all these. Start thin at the top and go out. Something you'll want to try, see if it will work, these reverse paintings. I've done one before, a space one, but I wanted to try something else. Something a bit different. So I'm not going to turn this over until it's finished. More of a surprise then, see how it's turned out. So what we're doing for these trees is we're just getting some black paint on the sponge and we're just dabbing it on to make tree shapes. And also I'll put the glass on a piece of um, paper so you get no marks on the other side. Because the last time I did one on um, glass, I put them on some pieces of wood and the overspray went underneath and landed on the front. But it easily come off so that was alright. So 
So we'll do this last one. I'm just going to go over some of these, make them a bit darker. Especially around the trunk areas. Like I said, it's all trial and error, so if it works, great. If it doesn't, I'll know for next time. So the thing I'll do for that layer of trees, I'm just going to put a bit of tops on them all. few dots here and there, the tops, so the thing I'll do for the first layer, and what I think I'll do at the bottom is I'll just get a bit of black, I'm just going to spray a bit of black at the bottom. And then I'm going to get a lightish yellow, I think. And I'm going to spray it with the yellow first underneath to give you some mist ready for the next trees. So I'm going to really lightly spray this. Because you want to be able to see the trees underneath. Like I said, I'm not sure whether this will work. So we'll go back to the black now and add the next layer of trees. I'll just put a bit more yellow. Just... Just there like that. So next layer. Gonna do a bit taller. Just add the trunks in. Put another one behind there, like that. This I might just rip another bit of sponge, sponge off. Put some more paint on. It's not coming out very well then ones.
Right, so I like how that's looking now. So now I've got the second row of trees in. I'm going to go with a bit more of a lighter yellow. A deeper yellow. And I'm just going to mist this over it as well. Just lightly. So now I'm going to move on and put a third row of trees in. This will be the last row, I think. Just put a bit more black paint there. I think I'll have some big ones here. So I'm going to put them all straight. I'm going to have a few lopsided. Oh, press that a bit too hard. Does my hopefully it can cover it up with a sponge. So I think that'll do for that. So I'm liking them there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use another piece, I think. You could use the same sponge on each, all of them, but I'm going to use a different one, I think. So just screw it up a bit. So it's easier to hold when you're doing the trees or something. I'll start on this side. So I'm liking that. I could. I think I might just bring one in the middle. Middle up here, through this here. Bit of an eye of one, I think. Somewhere like that, yeah. Yeah, I like how that is. Five out of eye. So we're going to get some more paint. Right, so we've got a bit more paint. I'll just do this last tree. This one a bit bigger, I think. I'll do. I'll just put the top on. I 
I'll be nervous on the thing there, and I'll do. Right, so there are all the trees added. Now what I'm going to do is the background. So it's going to be like a sunset, so I'm going to use a, a lot of different colours. First of all, I'm just going to use Easter Yellow. It's going to go at the bottom again. And then Citrus. And then Yellow Cab. So I'm going to be spraying this lightly. And then Capri, orange. And the next one we're going to use is red orange. And then shock red. I think I had a bit of pink, pink into it. Bit of royal red, I think. Like I said, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. This royal red spitted a bit, so you've got a few dots here, so that'll show up when we turn it over. But never mind. A bit of cherry blossom. What I'm going to do right at the top, I'm just going to put a few stars, I think. Not many. So we just flick it on the fingers. So we just spray a bit on the fingers like that. Flick it away from the painting so you get most of the paint off and then just flick the last few on onto the top of the painting so I don't want many I think that'll do so go back to the colours now the next one, a bit of Valerie. <clears throat> Let's spray a bit there, it seeps through. Now I'm gonna use a bit of Ultramarines. And then lastly, I'm going to have a bit of black at the top. And a bit of ultramarines. And I'm just going to go back over it again, going down now with the colours. So if there is any gaps I've missed out, it'll just seep through. Pink, pink. See, it just caps are spitting a bit then, but hopefully you won't see that now. And then there's a bit of red orange. Bit of Capri. Yellow cab. Citrus. East the yellow. A little bit more for you, I think. See what happens. 
So they're all the background colours now covered. So I'm going to remove a stencil. So we'll take the weights off. I'll get this pally knife. And I'm just going to lift it up slowly. So as you can see, we've got no overspray there. Where the sun's going to go. So that's the stencil off now. And as you can see, it's left that piece of glass clean by putting the stencil on. So I'm going to add some colours to this sun now. I think I'll add some the yellows and an orange. And then I might do a bit of texture on it. But if I'm going to do a texture on it, you want the background to be completely dry. So when you fill out something on to do your texture, you don't pull it off the rest of the paint that you already put down. So I'm going to give this a quick dry. And what I'm going to use for this, I'm going to use a heat gun. So we give you heat gun. I'm just going to dry the paint a bit. You don't want the heat gun or the air dryer, whatever you're using, to dry your paint out quicker, too close to the paint, because you'll start to bubble. You could always leave this to naturally dry, and then come back after 30 minutes or something. But like using a hair dryer or a heat gun like I am, we're just speeding up the process so you don't have to wait as long. So let me just try it. Still a bit tacky, but I'm going to leave it like that. I think, in fact, I might use this sponge, this bit of sponge here. I might do a bit of texture on it. What I'll do first, I think, is I'm going to put a bit of... A bit of yellow cabin capri down first. So I'm just going to press the cap lightly just to build up the colours a bit. And a bit of citrus. And a bit of Easter yellow. So what I could do is I could leave that like that. But I'm not sure what it's going to look like. So what I might do, I might just put a bit of texture in it. But it's already mostly dry. So I'm just going to dab it hard. Bring some of the colour back in. I don't want much. So we haven't pulled much of the paint off because we just misted it lightly. It's almost dried straight away because the glass was still off from drying it. So I think just a bit of Capri. A bit of Yellow Cab over it. A bit of Citrus. And a bit of Easter yellow. So that's the sun done. I'm not sure how this sun's going to turn out now. Because I did want to put a bit of texture in it. But the texture hasn't really worked. Put a bit more in just in case. Right, so that's the painting finished. Like I said, it's first time trying out something like this, putting trees in on a reverse spray paint art. So I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out, but hopefully it's turned out all right. So the moment of truth. So I'll give a pally knife. And I'll lift it up. So as you can see the back, you don't need to worry about it, the colours and that. So I'm not going to lock it in until I've turned it over. Bit tricky this is, but here we go. Let's have a look. Oh, I quite like how that's turned out. 
I really like that. The pink's a bit overpowering there, but apart from that, I really like this bottom where these trees are. Really like it. Really worked out really nice, that has. I really like it. Sun looks all right as well. Not much texture in it, but it still works well. It just looks like a bright sun. I really like how this has turned out. I'm really happy with that. So I found something to rest the painting on so you can see it better without me holding it. So let me know what you think of a painting in the comments. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, give it a like and please share the video. And also, if you're a new visitor, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. It'd be very much appreciated. And once again, thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day, take care, and bye for now. Oh, I really love this. I'm going to hang this on my wall.